Is for his ummah, even though it was his downfall. So, uh, my friend, my friend, sorry, lot... sorry, there was an error in the audio, so people did not hear in the beginning what you said. Uh, so, uh, guys, I apologize, there was an audio problem. Uh, uh, can okay. you repeat from the beginning? You said to me, whatever you said to me, you said to me, I saw your life, you yeah, okay, okay. You said what uh, a prophet needs to have prophecies, correct? Yeah, okay, so Prophet Muhammad, I said to a salam. He and, didn't, you, he and, wasn't, and I asked you if you are over 20, uh, 25, you said yes, correct? Right? Yes, yes. Yeah, because people, uh, let me explain, let me explain, because people yeah. in, the, in, the, okay. in YouTube, they have a difficulty to hear you, so now I'm... Uh, it's lagging. Yeah, now it's, it's working, lagging. no, now it's working, yeah, it's, it's okay, but okay. they were complaining, they could not hear So, yeah, we, we talked about, yeah. yeah, we talked about uh, a prophet needs to be able to have prophecies, All correct? Right. Okay. In order to be, yeah. actually, the Quran encourages you bef before you follow, to actually think and question people. So oh. the Prophet mm -hmm. before he was a prophet, he was known as the Amin, mm -hmm. who's uh, well respected, a Sadiq, who mm -hmm. tells the truth. Mm -hmm. So he was already a cherished character within his Ummah, correct? Okay. So everybody believed him. Uh, okay, so let, let, believed let me him. ask you, let me ask you then. You said yeah, that the Prophet on. is known to be Amin. What Amin mean? I mean, means someone who is uh, worthy of trust, someone okay. who is you can trust with uh, your properties, someone who won't backstab you. All right. What so do you, you think? What do you back think? To, I, going I have, back to okay. Hold I, I have on, a friend. Going back to your question, mm -hmm. going back to your question, that a prophet needs to have prophecies. No, no, we want to stop here for a second. We want to stop, we wanna stop here on, for a wait, second. Wait. We want to stop here for a no, second. No, no. Let me. You let said me that Muhammad. You said Muhammad is an Amin. Go ahead. And I have a friend. I have a friend. He wants to, yeah. to marry a woman, and his this woman, her her father don't want her to marry from this man. He's my friend, and then they agree okay. to make the father drunk, so they can convince him that he married them already. What do you think about my friend? Is he a mean? Is he trustworthy? Or this is a dirty trick to do? First of all, you seem to be jumping from one place to another. That's no. a, a, let, it let is me you who mentioned it. It's you who you mentioned meant. it is you who mentioned the word that Muhammad was yeah. a trustworthy. This is because why we have to asked, stop. No, look, let's yeah. just be professional because you we asked, are we are a professional. Prophet, you are talking to the prophet, most professional. I'm no, asking no, no, you, look, is that this is, this is, is the that a trustworthy? No, you are me. the one who mentioned the word trustworthy. So we have to stop with it for a minute. Was so Muhammad, you said was Muhammad that a trustworthy? Make someone drunk. Was, Wait, you said make yes, someone drunk. Yes, make to, someone drunk. He made his, them his, think. He, he made the father of the wife, the, the wife he wanted to marry, yeah. drunk, and yeah. his wife. Both of them they did that, and in order to convince him when he woke up in the morning that they got married, and he was blessing so the marriage. Why are you asking? Why are you asking him that? What do you think about? What do you think about a person like this? Is he trustworthy or he is a fraud? Why are you asking me that? That's I'm asking, what, I want to see your opinion, you because I want to see the ethic you have in your background. What kind of ethic? Is that a good ethic for you, or is this a very bad person? I think maybe you need a dictionary to know what I mean means. How someone, like, how making someone intoxicated a good thing? Like, do you know what the me, the word I mean means, actually? So, because what, what kind of scenario are you talking about? So, is that, is, that, as, is that made him a good person or made him a very filthy person? I think that's for you to answer because you don't know what I mean. Is how like, I'm telling I'm asking you now. You, help me, help you made me. someone, my friend, help me. You help made me. someone intoxicated, if somebody, if somebody, unaware yeah. of their surroundings because that's what you know. Uh, alcohol does it makes you loose. It makes you not fully co uh, fully cognitive. Okay. So how is tricking somebody? I mean, like what? Why are you so asking he, me that? So he Obviously is not it's wrong. Okay. So you are saying to me this is not trustworthy person, correct? He's bad. Go ahead. Dude. Yeah. yeah. Okay, he agree. Well, this is what your prophet did. This is to the Sira, this is a Sira, this is a Sira Nabawiya, Ibn Hisham. Mm -hmm. This is volume number mm -hmm. one and page number mm -hmm. two, three, nine. And this is yeah. the chapter name Imtihan Khadija Burhan al Wahi. I'm guessing maybe you speak Arabic, do you? Yeah. Okay. Yes. Read for me. As long as you speak Arabic, I want you to read. I put it for you on the screen. You read and you translate. Go ahead. I'm not looking at your uh, live right you now. You need to look. You need to look so you can read. Do you want me to give you the Go link? ahead. You read it. You read it out loud. I'll listen. I can no, I want you to read it and you translate. 
Look, right now, I'm not close to it. So go ahead, you read My and I'll friend, listen. Open it the YouTube, really matter, just, it? just be sure it's muted. Read for us what is in the screen, please. Go ahead, you read. I'll listen. Are you going to read or not? Go ahead. Go, I'm not going to read. Go ahead, read. No, what, what if I give you the link and you read from there? Just read. Second. Why is that so long? Just because you, you claim you speak Arabic. I want to see how uh, you look, speak Arabic. Do you look, speak Arabic? We, 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 look, just look, read it. Uh, do you, listen. Do you speak no Arabic, do you speak not, Arabic or not? I'm not going to read. Okay, I'm going to I read didn't... in Arabic. I'm going to read in Arabic and you translate. Is that fine? Go ahead. No problem. Okay. Hmm. Uh, so, uh, sorry, this is not... Uh, not the height I want to mention by mistake. I opened this one. Okay, hold on. Okay. Okay, give me a second. <clears throat> Khadija, mm -hmm. she made her father drunk okay. in order to marry from Muhammad. And Muhammad, he have no problem with that. Let us see. <clears throat> And I will open uh, a trustworthy source. So Muslims, which is what? Which is your Islamic which is books? Biblical. Islamic books? Your Islamic books? You know. What, what what book is it? You will see. Hmm. No, tell me what book is it? You will see. Tell us the source and everything. Sure, I will show you. Always, I will show. I show the the, the source. We will never mention something That's... without the source. Which, you know. Oh. A reliable source as well. Sure, sure, it have to be. Yeah, yeah. Okay. Okay. <laughs> All right, here we go. Mm -hmm. This is the book of Musnad Ahmad. Musnad al Imam Ahmad, mm -hmm. value number one, page number three, one, two, which means 312. Mm -hmm. It says here, hadith number 2846. We've been taught by, uh, I will read in Arabic, Haddathana Abu Kamil, Haddathana, Haddathana, from, 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 from Hamad, that Anna Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam, Adhakara Khadija, wa kana abuha yargabu, an yuzawijuhu. فصنعت, which means he don't want to, you know, to marry. فصنعت طعاما وشرابا فدعت أباها وزمرا من قريش فطعموا وشربوا حتى ثملوا فقالت خديجة لأبيها إن محمد ابن عبد الله يخطبني فزوجني إياه فخلعته, فخلعته والبسته حلة وكذلك كان يفعلون بالآباء فلما سري عنه سكره سكره نظر فإذا هو مخلق وعليه حلة فقال ما شأني ما هذا قالت زوجتني محمد <تصفيق> so translate go ahead no, I understand is what you exactly said um, but tell me who no translate who translate 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 because we no. don't translate people want to hear it my friend from you translate what happened all right so according to this source that you have hmm. um they seem to be very biased and obviously they have a standard um the way they're narrating it is not that of a person translate, who's actually translate. narrating the what story the way, what the way they narrate they're being biased. What, it's a narrating no, normal now suddenly the way look, what no way is, I, look, i'm asking you look can you translate can you translate what you what i just read for you you said to me we agree look, that i will read in look, arabic and you will yeah. translate do you know arabic or not I uh, yes I know. So I translate. Know. Go ahead, my friend. But go ahead. Go it's ahead. not translate. my job. Look, translate. Look, no, it's, it's your job. job because I want people to to hear a, a, no, a, a true, tra tru on. true translation. I'll... Maybe I'm maybe I'm lying. <clears throat> maybe this is Christian prince. He is not oh, saying what it is there. So you, be... we, we agreed. You, you, first, you refused to look at it. Let's Secondly, you refused to have the link. And now you don't want to uh, translate. Let's... Why not? Why you why you like why are you so stressed? You need to like come down first of all. My friend, Tell me who wrote here, this. We have, so this person here we is... are not a bunch of kids. I ask you, are you over the age of twenty five? You said yes. You are a grown man. So, okay. Okay, read translate. So this whoever whoever you got this source from is biased and it's what not bias? This is Muslim Imam Ahmad. Um, Imam Ahmad is biased now. The way you're writing the it's not correct. 
and who, it's who are you to say not correct you are the so, one who said to me no, give me the source no, it have to be a reliable source here we go this is your islamic website it's it's not this is it's Musnad, not reliable this source. is Musnad al -Imam, Ahmad. al imam ahmad is not reliable now yeah, it's not reliable oh, so he's a, he's, a Jew. he's a Jew. no no Okay. It doesn't make sense because it, the way it's written is very biased, is incorrect. Okay. So let us translate um, because you are not, refused, Therefore, you are, it's not really Are you going to translate or not? Translate and then give me the answer. These are your views. You can go ahead and translate. What but my I view? What view? I did not say any view. I did not say any view. I'm asking you no, your view. No, this is not valid. I'm asking you your it's view. Not valid. Who are you to say it's valid or not? It's not valid. Mm. That's what so, I'm saying. Yes, now, what if happens, you have another he, point, he's refusing to translate. Hold on, let me translate to the people. Then you refuse, okay? Because you are ashamed of Go your ahead. prophet. Okay. So Go. it says here that Khadija, mm. she she wanted mm. uh, to to get married from Muhammad. Her father, he don't want that. So she made food and drink, which means alcohol, and she invited people mm. from Quraysh, the tribe of Muhammad, her tribe too, and then they 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 ate and they drank. Until they get so drunk, they cannot even, they, 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 which means they almost faint. And then Khadija, she took off uh, when he's drunk. She said to him, by the way, you made me, <laughs> you made me marry Muhammad. And then she took off his clothes and she dressed him with the new clothes. So when he wake up in the morning, he will find himself addressing what they use, use to dress for parties. Like everybody, when you go to a wedding party, you don't wear a normal clothes. Remember, they live in the desert. So they have a fancy clothes they wear only when they have an occasion. So look how evil she is. She took off his clothes to fool her father. So he can believe that he married her, which means Muhammad never met Khadija. Because the marriage have to be by the agreement. And this man never approved it. They made him a drunk. And Muhammad, in the morning, he announced himself that he is married to Khadija. And this is how they became married by a fraud. Your your words. I think you. I think you. You're very brainwashed. And I think that these these the sea of information is there. And if everybody is responsible for their whatever information that they collect. Okay, so um, you, you so believe you, so no, look, when you, you believe me, what you want to believe. I, I, my friend, this is your belief. This is your yourself. belief. This is your belief. This is your religion. Imam Ahmad is no, not a Christian if, imam. No, look, imam it's Ahmad, wrong. What you're saying it doesn't. It, you have no solid foundation. This is incorrect information. Anybody on the internet can. How write you know? You never you heard this before. You speak. never heard this before. You just now you're surprised, and now suddenly you are an expert who knows that this is not valid. It is. It's not. It's not correct. But you never heard this before. How you can be sure? Look, I'm, sho look, I'm showing you. This look, is your Islamic you website. Have, Abdul, this listen. is not. This look, is your Islamic you website. Listen. This is the book of Musnad yeah. Imam Ahmad. This is the hadith number. This is the value number. This is the page number. Yeah. Value number one, page number 312. And the hadith number is 2846. And the Imam is Musnad Imam Ahmad. So you are saying to me, this is not valid? Who are you? Yeah, no, you're incorrectly saying it, and so it's what wrong. We discover, is, like, you, doesn't even make sense. What we sense. discover, what so, we discover. Do you, do you what, have, do you have any other kind of, do you have any other kind of point? Because this is wrong. What you're believing is okay. Let us, let us let us let us talk about sense. something else. Let us talk about something else then. If a man okay. he go to the house of uh, of his son, and he flirt with the wife, is he a good? Is he a mean? Is he a good person? If it what? Explain yourself. If a fa sorry. if your father, with my respect, your father, I'm not trying to insult. Okay, he come to your house, mm -hmm. uh, and he flirt with your wife when she was alone. Is that a good, trustworthy man? Uh, no, it's not. And here you go. Is that lawful in Islam? Is that is that lawful in Islam? Is that lawful in Islam? Is that lawful in Islam? Oh no, they, you're not allowed to go near someone if a, else's if a, wife. If a person he flirt with married women, is he going to go to heaven or to hell? He's going to be judged. That he's going to be judged, judged. So he's not a, he's not a good person, yeah. right? Yeah. 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 Okay. Well, this is exactly what your prophet did. He went to the house of his own son, Zaid, by adoption, and he mm -hmm. flirt with the wife when the husband is not there. Okay, what's your and he told her, he told her, yeah. praise be to Allah, the one who made my heart to flip for you. Hmm. You are the one Let's who said, see. okay, yeah, here we go. Nikah yeah. al-Nabiyyu bi Zainab bintu Jahsh. 
it says here and we can show you from other sources too فجاء زيد إلى منزله فأخبر ف... uh, sorry let's go from the beginning جاء رسول الله صلى الله عليه وسلم بيت زيد بن بن حارثة يطلبه وكان زيد إنما يقال له زيد بن محمد so uh, محمد he came to the house of Zaid which is his adopted son and he used to be called the son of Muhammad uh, فرم, uh, فرم okay. فقده رسول الله so he wanted to check on him he went he go to him he said where is Zaid he went to the uh, house of, uh, of Zaid so he went to his house فجاء منزله يطلبه فلم يجده uh, uh, فتقوم إليه uh, زينب فتقول له هنا يا رسول الله so Muhammad when he saw her he say he said to her سبحان الله العظيم سبحان الله مصرف القلوب سبحان الله العظيم سبحان الله مصرف القلوب your prophet is a flirting with the wife saying to her praise be to Allah the one who made my heart a flip for you when when Zaid he came back he told his wife about what his father said and then the man he went to the house of Muhammad saying please let me divorce her because now they knew that there is something going on between the wife and the father you know this sounds like a, a bedtime story because you keep making up all of these stories and there is no point of debating if somebody believes something that doesn't exist. Is that your is that so, your is that your book or this is my book? You just said this is big bedtime story. Yeah, because this sounds what you're reading sounds like a bedtime story. You have no authentic narration. It's just ah. you're just highlighting things on the internet. This doesn't even make any sense. Show ah. me an authentic. Show me in the Quran or a Hadith. Ah, okay, so this is somebody so said. Look, somebody look, said okay, somebody so look like so look, so look like look like. Yeah. Uh, mm. Anything I will show you is not authentic. Yes. Ah. Because it's fairy tale. What you're reading is fairy okay. tale. Like, do you, well, do you want me to clap? You, give you, me okay. Can you can you give me names of some scholars you agree that they are trustworthy? All the all the main ones. Yeah. Like who? Like who? Give uh -huh. give me give me some names. Hmm. Let's go with the Quran and no, no, give the, me some the, names the, because I'm, I'm I know I don't know what to do. Whatever I give you, you say it's not trustworthy. So give me some names like what? Al Jalalain, Al Qurtubi, Al Tabari. Who? Who is the who is the trustworthy for you, Muslims? I want to know. I want to go down to your basics now. Tell I'm me you, anything. Who is the trustworthy Quran. for you tell, as a Muslim? Who is the trustworthy for tell, you as a Muslim? Let's go with the Quran and the Hadith. Okay, okay hold tell on. Me. So why you don't want to tell me the names of the trustworthy books for you? Is a Jalalain trustworthy? Is a Jalalain trustworthy? No. Is a Mikathir trustworthy? Is a Qurtubi trustworthy? Or they are not? Why are you running away from the Quran? We are not. You go with the we Quran. We are not. You are saying to me Don't go ahead. So no, are, you, are you are you a Quran only? Are you a Quran only? Are you a Quran only? I gave you space. Are you a Quran only? Are you a Quran only? I gave you space. My friend, are you a Quran I gave you space. Are you a Quran only? So what you need to... Do you believe only in the Quran or you don't believe in the Hadith too? Oh, I believe in, in the Quran and the Hadith as well. Okay, so well, we are showing you the Hadith. hadith. So we are showing you the Hadith written about your Prophet. Okay. Now, it's incorrect. All of the stuff that you're who reading. Who said who is incorrect? Who, who, no who are you? Who are you? No... This is Tafsir Al-Qurtubi, variant number 14, page number 190. It says the same, that Muhammad, when he came to the wife of, of Zaid, he flirted with her and Allah, he made, he sent wind and he left the curtain. So and she was almost naked, mutafaddila, and you read Arabic. في منزلها فرأى زينب فوقعت في نفسه. So he saw Zainab and he felt for her, which means he want to sleep with her. وقع في نفس زينب أنها وقعت في نفس نبي. So Zainab she she knew all that. All that. So so you are saying to me. So you are saying to me, Al Qurtubi, who is a biggest scholar in Islam, is lying about your prophet. Look, you're running around, not talking about the actual. Quran, which you don't, you can't this find is, any This is the interpretation in, of the Quran. This is the interpretation of the Quran. Wrote, this is the interpretation, interpretation of the Quran. Yeah. Interpretation of the Quran. Okay, but they are telling the story behind the, behind the verse. 
Oh, and they explain that verse in their own terms. It doesn't okay, make so any sense. Is Al Qurtubi now you, is, look, is Al Qurtubi what, what, qualified? Is Al Qurtubi me, qualified? Give me an actual is, look. Is Al go, go in the Quran. So is Al Qurtubi Quran, qualified? Show Listen, me an so actual. why you Muslim? You call them scholars and you print their books and you teach it in universities and now they are bunch bunch of dummy liars. So is Al Qurtubi lying or telling the truth? Go on the Quran. There's no point debating. Honestly, go on the Quran. Mm -hmm. yeah. Yeah. So now that. you don't want to read your books. Now you deny all your books. Anything I will show you, you don't accept. You, the stuff that you're showing doesn't make any sense. We don't need doesn't to make go sense over to who? It, was, it again, makes again. sense to all Muslims. This is Al Qurtubi. Who are you? No, it doesn't. You, the you, stuff that you're saying is literally you, on the you internet. You just highlight. You we talked about this before. You're uh, avoiding the big topic, which is the Quran. If you want to talk about the Quran, you're more than welcome to. Ah, get me so, verses from so, the Quran. So don't lie to me. That. Don't lie. And and let's say, talk about the hadith. So don't lie because and say books, that Muhammad was books, a trustworthy. These books. I I these stop books here. Let's remember. I that you're here. bringing don't I make any sense. I stop here because you said Muhammad is trustworthy. So you lied to us. He's not. Nobody's lying. What you're reading is incorrect. You can't force okay, accuse Okay, I want somebody. you to fix it. Is it incorrect or it's a lie? <clears throat> Sorry, what? Is it incorrect or it's a lie? About what? About Muhammad flirting with the wife of, of, of his son. It's incorrect. It's what does incorrect. that mean? Is it a lie? It's Is it a lie or no? It's a lie. It's, it's a, a lie. lie. So why you must lie, print yeah. a, why you must them write such a thing in your books? Those are your scholars. Why are they are writing those? Look, we talked about this. This isn't right. The what do you mean? The, ah, the, the, because you're it's saying, shameful. The okay, now let us go to the Quran. Are you going now? Are you, go, are you going now to accept this the Quran or not? Quran let us go to the Quran. Uh, uh, no, it's in the, the Quran hadith. too. It's in the Quran too. Read with me. In show chapter, me where. Show in chapter me. Show chapter me where thirty-three. Chapter thirty-three in the Quran. Bring it up. Muhammad Zaid. Zaid. He go back after he heard that his wife been flirted with the father. Look, look, look. Hey, listen. Look. Go on the Quran. Show me the exact verse. Read it out loud. Chapter 33, verse number 37. Go and read it. Read it. You read it. I listen to you. Go ahead. Read I'm, losing, it. I'm losing my voice. You read it for me. Can you can't you tell? I'm shouting. You read it. No, you, you like you my like friend, you, you're the you Muslim. Like What's wrong with you? Do I have to read everything for you? Read at least. Are Go you ahead. are are you wasting the opportunity to read to the kuffar the Quran? I'm giving you the honor to read, read the it. book. No, read it. Maybe you get head. I'm going to hang it. up on you if read. you don't Go read it, my friend. I'm losing my voice. Read it for us. What's wrong with you? You will not read anything. You like to talk a lot, so I'll give you the stage. Go ahead. No, it's, you, it's it. your prophet who like to talk a lot. Here we go. The man, he came to the prophet and says to him, please let me divorce my wife. Muhammad said to him, oh no, don't, don't divorce her. So Allah, he says to him, why? Why you are hiding what is in your heart to her? Look, read, read the ayah. Just read it. I gave Be you the quiet, ayah. I gave you the ayah. You read it, and everybody will laugh. Chapter thirty-three, verse number thirty-seven. Your God, Allah, is supporting a man who is flirting with the wife of his son, and He is saying to him, "Why you lie? Why you lie? You don't tell the man that you want this woman. Why you don't tell her? Tell him what is in your heart for her. The verse in the front of you." Did you rest your voice now? <clears throat> you I'm are, waiting for you to You read. said you are over 25 okay. years old, right? Where, uh, speak as a man, come on. Go ahead, just read. You I'll read. Listen. You read. You are a potato now. You are, being a, you are being smoked before we start even debating. We did not debate yet. This, first, there's the, no point the, debating. The, the, first game, the first game you said, I don't accept those hadith. One after one. I don't accept those sources. One after one. And now we are showing you Quran, still you don't want to read it. What kind of a growing man you are? Ashamed of reading his own Hello. Hello. Yeah. Prove to me that you are a growing man. And read. What? Read. Read. You. I listen to you reading. Go ahead. Read. I, I do not know how to read. I'm like your prophet, illiterate. You just 
You just said you're going to read it. Go ahead. Well, read. Really There's no me. point. Doing really this. He squeezed me and I, I forgot how to read again. He squeezed me to activate me once and then second and then the third time I forgot again how to read. You read it. Go ahead. Are you ashamed of your Quran? I'm ashamed to be talking to you, honestly, because it seems like. I know, because now it's recorded and everybody will laugh at you. Everybody no, will laugh at you for, a, for you the see, century. Some people, some people want to know what's right. And some people don't actually want to know what's right. And it seems like you're a man child um, and very kind of unprofessional as oh, well. Yeah. Um, so why don't you just read this for us so we can talk about it? Okay, I'm going you to read it. Okay, I'm going to read it for uh, you. Okay, I'm done reading. It's your answer now. See, Ch okay. chapter 33, verse number 33. Exactly, this is what I'm talking about. Yeah, I'm professional. It's not worth talking to you, honestly. Yeah, yeah, and you are a potato. I am. And you are a potato. Oh, what you need to do, potato. open in your uh, uh, phone, open chapter 33, verse number 37, and read for us. You ask me for Quran, I'm giving you Quran. Read it. But you're talking like a five-year-old, honestly. Read it, read it, be a man. Be a man once in your lifetime. Stop washing. This is your wife. I heard her behind you laughing at you. There's no point. There's no point arguing with you. There's no point. Exactly. Yeah, but you can't answer. Okay. Answer what? There's nothing to answer. I just showed You're you the verses. You asked me. You said, show me the Quran. You said to me, show me the Quran. What kind of God? He said to his prophet. Why you are hiding what is in your heart for this woman? What he have in his heart? The woman she's still married. If you if you read it out loud, if you read it out loud, we will talk about it. So Go ahead, you, read it out you loud. are you are thirty years old, and you don't dare yeah. to read your Quran. Who said I don't dare to read my own Quran? Then read it. Why would I be here if I don't? So read it. I'll wait for you to read it. <laughs> <laughs> Go ahead. So you're a turn to be from the beginning when you said to us our prophet is a trustworthy, he's a scumbag. What kind of a man, even in Al Qurtubi says, if the eyes of the prophet fall in a, a, a woman, she is married, her husband must divorce her so the prophet can if her. This is the trustworthy. Mm -hmm. All right, so there is really no point talking to you. There's no point. Um, Hang up, go run. You're talking about potatoes. Run, put you're your tail between your legs and run. Who cares? Hang up. Either you read, you ask me to show you the Quran, I'm showing you the Quran. No, I think that some people. What is, the, what like is in to... the heart of Muhammad? It says here, you hide what is in the heart of you. What is in the heart of Muhammad? The man he came to Muhammad saying, I want to divorce my wife. Muhammad said to him, don't divorce your wife. Look at the coward. A second ago, he was a flirty with the wife, sorry. And now he is saying to the man, because now he got embarrassed, embarrassment. Don't, don't divorce your wife, okay? Don't keep, keep your wife. So Allah, he made a verse for him, supposedly. Obviously, Muhammad making that. So Muhammad, after the guy, he left. He said to himself, why he did that? I want the woman. So he made a verse claiming that Allah told him, why? Why, Muhammad? Why you hide what is in your heart for that woman? Huh? Allah manifest for you that you are going to sleep with her. Take her. She is yours. But the woman, she is married. Yeah, there's, there's no point arguing with you. There's no point. There's no point. There's no point. Very immature. So you lie to us about your prophet being trustworthy. He is not a trustworthy. He's a scumbag. And you cannot defend that. No, I think you're the scumbag. Well, you have to prove it. I never go to my house, son, and flirt with the wife. You do? Who knows? I never. Who knows? Yeah, maybe. I don't have a son anyway. I don't go to my friend's house and flirt with his wife. Glad, glad, glad that you don't. I'm uh, very glad. Yeah, so I'm. I'm All glad. right. No, don't worry. Uh, I'm going to have twenty no kids. There's no point. Soon. I really. I I'm think going to have a twenty. Uh, I, I'm going to have ninety-nine yeah, kids soon. I will do the same as Solomon. He had sex with wasted, uh, wasted you. Abdul Potato. Go. I wasted my go. time. Next time, let your right. dad call me. 30 man years or 30 years old. What a potato you are. Coward. So don't lie to us, Muslim, and say Muhammad was trustworthy. Even his marriage is a fraud.
What kind of a man he agree to use alcohol to make the father of the wife drunk? How he can quote even a wife? She's not his wife because there's no marriage. In the morning, he wake up, he find them together. He says, what happened here? They said, don't you know you married me yesterday to him? And this is written by your scholars. And then you call me and you tell me our prophet was a trustworthy. He was called a Sadiqul Amin. The honest, the trustworthy. Yeah, right. He is very trustworthy. Any Abdul? Actually, he have a he have a name of uh, of a female. I don't know. This is female or male. Maybe he's using a female account. I'm not sure. So what happened to this Muslim? He got shocked with the lies they told him about Muhammad, the amazing guy. And then he found that as a prophet, he cannot be trusted to enter his house. Can we even trust Muhammad to be with a child? When Muhammad, he go after Jabir, and he said to Jabir, did you, while you are in rush, Jabir? Jabir, he says, I'm newly married. Muhammad, he says, uh, did you marry a child? So you can play with her, and she play with you. Jabir he said, "Oh no, I uh, <clears throat> I did marry a, 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 a widow." Muhammad he said to him, "Why, why, why you don't marry a little child so you can sport with her?" She make you laugh. She will amuse you. This is a trustworthy. He go after a married man and he start whispering in his ears like the devil. Make him believe that he should leave the woman he married and go after a, a kid. This is a trustworthy. This is a good friend. This is a good prophet. Whispering like the devil in the ears of a man, he is already happily married. What's your business? And what kind of a prophet of God he wants you to go and marry a child? Look what the guy he said to him. He said to him, uh, I said, Abdullah, my father, died and left girls, which means little girls. And I dislike to marry a girl like them. A girl like what? Like them. So I married a lady. So she may look after them. Muhammad, he want him to marry a little child. She needs somebody to look after her. Instead of marrying a woman. This is the trustworthy. How are you doing, Mr. Mahdi? Why you don't call me Mahdi? We have Mahdi. He became a prophet suddenly. The world is ending soon. Well, you're a prophet. He said that long time ago and nothing happened. You're a prophet, Mr. Mahdi. He said, your prophet said, the judge needs to near, uh, you know, to do near, and then nothing happened. <clears throat> Is that true? Is that true? The judgment day started in the time of Muhammad according to Muhammad. If you go to the chapter of the moon, not the chapter of the sun or the scorpion or the crab, because it's a zoo. You will find the following verse. 
the judgment they literally started in the time of Muhammad chapter 54 verse number one the moon has been cleft asunder and look at the translation they say the people of Mecca requested people prophet Muhammad to do them what is this this is the Quran unbelievable and they requested really they requested so how come the Quran said Allah refrain from making miracles the hour is nigh and the moon is a cleft asunder <laughs> and okay this is 1400 years ago so the judgment they started already you're a prophet lied who's next <clears throat> Remember, when you say to something to me, anything you say, I will stop you to, to, to investigate. I am not the David Wood. I am not the apostate prophet. You can say whatever in the, you know, you throw it in the, like you are making beef, you know, ground beef. You throw whatever between, and then it's going to come inside the beef and it go. Whatever you say in, in the front of me, I'm going to check it out. I am not like those who will let you throw some lies between. Any Muhammadan? <clears throat> is that a false prophecy or this true prophecy? And Allah, and who is the one who split the moon? And did Allah he make a verse, I glued the moon again? <laughs> because the word split mean it became two pieces literally separated so did Allah make a miracle and include the, ver the moon again <clears throat> any Muhammadan anyone who is next and then the Muslims, they will make a video to refute a Christian prince talking to themselves. We open the, the weapon sky for them. Call me, prove me wrong. Here we go, a bunch of potatoes. This hadith is uh, not true because it doesn't make sense. Huh? So if it's not true and it doesn't make sense and it's not right, why you Muslims have it in your books? <laughs> Isn't it weird? This hadith, brother, obviously is a fabrication. It's da'if. Everything, anything is embarrassing is da'if. And da'if, by the way, is accepted. <laughs> this is why Sheikh Hamza, Hamza he said, the da'if the, the hadith, is, uh, is a weak hadith is a weak argument. Go watch his video. He said, weak hadith is a weak argument. Yeah, and he was trying to use the duct tape by saying this is the if and this is not accepted and this doesn't make sense and this is not right and this is <laughs> duct tape here we go we ask them to not to use the duct tape too much but they cannot resist the temptation of duct tape power but you cannot use duct tape with me hmm who's next Who's next? So Muhammad is not trustworthy. He's a very bad person. Extremely disgusting person. A thief. Pedophile. Like, he loved to lie as a business. Even the Quran says that Muhammad, he told his wives to lie. He told all his wives to who knows his secret to lie. The God is a liar. Muhammad is a liar. His wives are liars. The Hadith are liars. The Sheikhs are liars. That's what the Muslims say to us. Any Abdul? 
Now look at this chapter, how silly, how stupid it is. There is no meaning. Any Abdul? And you know, I'm so glad that the Muslims, they were collecting everything about their Prophet. So today we can read it. And they try to escape it, you know, to escape the reality check. But how they can escape it? I mean, this is written by their hands. Preserved by them, by the Caliphate. How they can run away from it? Do we have any Abdul? Until now we have only one Abdul. Who is next? Again, I want to remind you that starting from tomorrow, December 24th, we are going to have a Bible study in our other channel, and you can see it in the message there. I hope my voice by tomorrow will be better. Any Mohammedan? <clears throat> Yeah, actually, this is true. Everyone who bust CP don't dare to call CP. Isn't it weird? As long you can bust CP or, or easy. Why you don't call CP? <laughs> Isn't it weird? My Skype is open. Those who can bust CP, they should call CP or let me CP call them. Do you dare? Anyone? <clears throat> and by the way, the more they make videos, I mean, they, they make videos, they put cartoon, they put funny pictures, supposedly this is me, whatever. And Christian Prince, uh, the, suddenly Christian Prince, he became a Mickey Mouse or so, you know. He could, you are bringing more, pe more people, oh, that's all. Because even the Muslim who never heard of me, he will wonder who is this guy. Let us go and watch. And then when they come here, they see that it's a bit of Allah. <clears throat> Well, somebody saying about if you don't sit and when you eat a shaitan dance in the table. Well, Muhammad, he had many crazy stuff. Like, you know, if you you have to uh, you have to sit uh, when you are eating because shaitan, he do certain things or you have to eat with the uh, right hand. Otherwise, shaitan will eat with you if you use the left hand. Uh, you have to say a certain prayer before you have intercourse. Otherwise, shaitan will wrap himself around your penis. Uh, you have to say a certain prayer before you enter the bathroom, otherwise shaitan will, in, will play with your anus. This is Muhammad, what we can say. And yet they, call, they, they say he is a prophet. He is a prophet. Okay, where is the prophecy of the prophet? How Muhammad is a prophet? So, people like this guy, <clears throat> how do you call you? Use Skype, Mr. Hamza. Use Skype. You never heard of Skype? So, those people, they used to speak to Christian. They say the prophet was trustworthy. And the Christian, what do you say? Okay, he was trustworthy. The prophet was amazing. Oh, he was amazing. So, when you talk to me, I will stop you with everything you say. We can't just let it go. We have to investigate the truth of it. They have to walk on hair string on the judgment day. Well, I mean, there is this is interpretation. Everyone have his own, but the Muslim they believe there is something is called as siratul mustaqim. And because the word sirat is not an Arabic word, it's an Aramaic word. So those Abdul they come with their own you know fiction interpretation and they try to use the Muhammad trying to explain. If you go in the Quran, you will find that this word Sirat repeated many times. Almost 45 or 48 times, you know. 
Sirat, 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 Sirat. The second you ask them, what is this Sirat? They have no idea. Everyone have his own interpretation. Some they say it's a bridge. Some they say it's a rope. Some they say it is a, a building. Some, uh, it, it, because it's, it's a theft. <clears throat> Who's next? Who's next? Actually, in even Allah he is on that bridge. Can you believe it? In Rabbi ala siratun mustaqim. How Allah is in that bridge? What he's doing there? And look what they translate the word sirat, straight bath. This is a chapter 11, verse number 56. You go to the front chapter, the beginning of the Quran, chapter 1, verse number 6. Show us the straight way. Is it really straight way? It's not curvy? Isn't it? There's verses by Amr al Qais. There's many of them. And we, you know, if you have my books, you can see them all when they would, they would compare. Do we have any Abdul? Mayday, Mayday. Who is Abdul? You know, when the when this Muslim guy he was talking to me, we have uh, fifteen hundred, and now we drop to twelve uh, sixty. Uh, look like people they like to see fight, huh? Hmm. Yeah, very peaceful people. They love fighting. <clears throat> you read, you read for me, you read. Okay, I'm illiterate like you. Have you ever heard of a prophet? He is illiterate. The Muslim, they say the Bible speak about him. He was illiterate. <laughs> the Bible speak about illiterate, false prophet. <laughs> they say we are illiterate because they are lying. They are saying we don't understand. So they claim that they do not understand. So they don't, they don't practice. And you know, one of the funny things about Islam, the Muslims, they say that the Quran was preserved. We ask them, what is the first verse Allah he gave to Muhammad? They say, read. <laughs> okay, so... <laughs> so the first verse Allah he gave to Muhammad was wrong? He said to him, read. Why he said to him, read? If do Allah knew if Muhammad knew how to read or not? Maybe Allah made a mistake. He thought Muhammad, he can read, but later he figured out that he cannot. And secondly, the Muslim, they say, if Allah wants something to happen, he say, be is going to be, which means will happen. Here we go. Allah says to Muhammad, read it three times. Still Allah could not make Muhammad read. And if the Quran is preserved, so how chapter 1 in the Quran became chapter 96? They said to us, Prophet, he informed us to put, change the locations. But isn't this a corruption? And where your Prophet? He says that, show me. And shouldn't your Prophet, he follow Allah order? If Allah gave him this is the first one, who is Muhammad to make it at the end of the Quran? And when Allah, he came to Muhammad and says to him, read, do Allah knew that Muhammad knew how to read or not? If you do not know what the point of saying to him, read. And look, the Muslim, they try to fix it. They says, proclaim. What proclaim mean? He Muslims, the word in Arabic, it's not even an Arabic word. It is, it is Aramaic word. Iqra, qarra, wara. From you move your lips for what you see. So the Muslim, they decide to fix it. <clears throat> they come and they say the proclaim. How he proclaim? It is an order. Proclaim what? He did not say anything to him yet. <laughs> you change the translator. You will find totally different interpretation translation, brother. 
Why? Because the Muslims are trying to duct tape Muhammad. Let us go to Hilali and Khan. Muslims, they like this guy. Read! Read! Okay, like, read what? Did you give him anything to read? There's a bunch of Abduls once, they decided to get me busted. So they made a video, I forgot the name, otherwise it's going to be fun to play it. Said Christian friends, Allah, he said to him, read me Recite. Oh, okay. Mean recite. But recitation, it have to be something from the memory. This is the first word, he have nothing in his memory yet. So when you say to a person, recite, he have to recite something in his memory. Well, Muhammad did not receive any memory from Allah yet. What a crazy religion. And now Allah said to Muhammad, read. Did Muhammad, was, able, was he able to read? Let us see this guy. We have a Muhammadan trying to call us. Yes, I hear you. Go ahead. Are you a Muslim? I I I su 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 subscribe first to your to you to, to your. Yeah, okay. Thank you for calling. I'm not looking for a comedian. Do we have any Muslim would like to call us? Any Muhammadan, he have the courage and the knowledge to call us about his prophet. Anyone? Anyone? Any two? Read! Read! And look, and look, even from the beginning, it's a stupid. I'll read and then name the one who created you from a, from a piece of thick con congealed blood. Have you ever heard of stupid, stupid statement? We are created from piece of dead blood? Is that how we are created? Is your God Allah a Hindu? He think we used to be beef? This is God now? He just start scratching his ass and look what he came with. He is a created man from a clot between two brackets. A piece of thick congealed blood. Like what the heck? Between two brackets now they're trying to fix it. They're trying to make it more understood. Brother Sitar, from between of thick congealed blood. Are you sure? Yes, brother, we are very sure. Can we call Zach and Naik? Go ahead. Tiridim, tiridim. Tiridim, tiridim. Tiridim, tiridim. Christian Prince, I do not call me. Hey, Zachary Naik, we are calling you because you are a doctor and we need now a doctor immediately. Christian Prince, I'm so happy that you are dying. Hey, Zachary Naik, I'm not dying. Don't worry. This is doctor. We need a doctor to, to for consultation. Christian Prince, I'm so happy that you are sick. Zachary Naik, I'm not sick. I'm not sick. I'm not dying. I'm just going to ask you about a consultation. Christian Prince, you just said you are calling me because you need a doctor. That means that's a good sign. Alhamdulillah, Allah is killing you. Zachary Naik. Listen, Allah is not killing me. I am live on air and everybody is laughing at you. You are an idiot. Stop being an idiot. Be a doctor for one time in your life. Christian Prince, I can show you my degree. And I am a doctor. I graduated from India. Zachary Naik, I don't know where you got it from, but you are an idiot. Unless you prove me wrong. Okay, go ahead. So when Allah, he says, he created the man from a clot, and that is a congealed blood. How in the world does it happen? Christian Prince, first of all, show me your faith. 
Show me your faith. Okay, so is that can We are talking about the Quran now. What does it have to do with my face and my bum? And what, what's wrong with you? Great and breath. First of all, I'm with you right now, a meeting. And I cannot talk to you because you're a kafir. Like Zach and Nick, a second ago, you were a doctor and you are excited and I'm dying and I am sick and you are thanking Allah for my death. And now you cannot answer how in the world the Quran says such a stupid thing. Great and breath. First of all, I'm going to warn you. First of all, I want to invite you to Pakistan. In there, we are welcoming you very warm welcoming. Uh, Zach and Nick, you want to invite me to Pakistan? What will we do there? Are we going to go to uh, <clears throat> to Muta? Christian Prince, behave yourself. Muta is forbidden. Zach and Nike, he allow it. Exactly. And then he forbid it. Exactly. And then he allow it. Exactly. And then he forbid it. Exactly. And then he forbid it. And then exactly. That's what wrong is. What's wrong with your prophet? Why he can allow it? Forbid it. Allow it. Forbid it. Allow it. That's mean he is confused. I'm confused about it too. So we can do it. Christian Prince. I'm very respectable man. I don't do muta, I rent women. Zaka, you rent women. Christian Prince, muta is a form of renting. So when you remove muta, you are renting. Huh? How for how day you can rent her? It's the bend. Uh, like one day? It's the bend. Two days? It's the bend. Isn't the prophet says three days? If you like to increase, you increase. Exactly. Zakir, are you going now to explain to me the verse in the Quran, chapter 96, verse number 2 or not? Christian Prince, first of all, I can't hear you. Zakir, come on, chapter 96, verse number 2. Christian Prince, are you there? Zakir, for the sake of the shin of Allah, you hear me very well. I can hear you far. <laughs> Here we go. I heard it. So, why you will not read for us 96 2, explaining how stupid the Quran is? You are a doctor. Go ahead. Christian Prince, are you there? Christian Prince, I can't hear you. Uh, I'm here. I can't hear you. Sorry, I'm going to hang up. Zach and Nick, don't do that to me. Now, come on. People are, this is embarrassing for his damn. Christian Prince, I'm not there. I'm hearing you. Zach and Nick is gone. Who is a Muslim when I call us and tell us how in the world that Allah, he created us from a clot of dead blood? This is the first verses Muhammad received? Science. Science right away. Take a beer, take a beer, take a beer, take a whiskey. Who cares? Still, Muhammad is a crazy man. Who is next? Stop! I'm dying. Here we go. They will they will accuse me of of killing some people now because they are dying from laughing. And just wait in the comment section, you will see some Muslims saying, this is not a true Zach and Naik. this is somebody who has a, he have his voice. Can you believe it? They make videos to expose me, support so says, this is not Zach and Naik. <laughs> smart. Unbelievable. Super. I mean, this religion makes you smart. The Muslim, they discover that this is not a true Zach and Naik. I feel bad now. I thought it was. Do we have any brave Abdul? I hope I'm not insulting when I say brave Abdul. Hmm? What happened to Hamza, the one he said he want to call me? Why taking him so long, Hamza? Hmm? Any Muslim? Here we go. Somebody saying, I love how you make Zachary Naik. My friend, this is a true Zachary Naik. He's next to me. Uh, Zachary Naik. They are saying it's not you. Christian Prince, they are stupid. I, I, I'm telling you, just tell them. Christian Prince, first of all, I can open my camera. I can tell you myself. No, Zachary Naik, don't do that. People will run away. The second they see your face, everybody will disappear. Please, already I'm suffering. You know, like we don't have even the 2,000 people here. So don't open your camera. We are safe. Christian Prince, plead for the sake of Allah. Let me open my camera. Like Zachar Naik, don't do that, man. You cannot open your camera. Come on. Don't do that. You are wanted in India. They will get you. Okay. Thank you, Zachar. Good boy. Okay, Zachar, just go outside now. Play. All right. We have Mr. Hamza texting us. <coughs>
Can you hear me? Yes, I hear you. Go ahead, my friend. What do you want to say to us? You're live on air. Are you there? Yeah, hello. Okay, what do you like to say to us? You are live on air. Go ahead. You are listening. What do you think? Is Islam from God? Yeah, of course. Why it's from God? Go ahead, tell us. I know for certain. Why? Tell us why. Because I've had personal experiences. I know uh, this is from God. This religion, the religion of Muhammad is from the true creator of God. Right. The same God of all of the prophets. Did you say to me from the true creator? Solomon, David, Adam. Yeah. Did I hear you correct? Did, did I hear you correct? Did I hear you correct? You said from the true creator. Yeah. So how the Quran says there's many creators. The Quran says that there's many creators. Yes. Where does it say this? In many verses in the Quran. No. Does the Quran say that there is the one God? Only one God. You see, you are the one who said to me that the creator. So you are contradicting your God now. Chapter 23, verse number 14. It says Allah is the best of the creators. Best of the creators. Maybe. No, no, no. You're misunderstanding. That's not what it means. Uh, so Allah, he says he is the best of the creators, but there's no creators. So no, you're just playing with words. I'm not that's playing. I mean, this is the word how it is in the Quran. No, that's, that's playing with words. Okay, my friend. Is that what the Quran is saying or I'm making things up? It says in chapter 23, verse 14. Allah is the best of the creators. Yeah. Okay. If we look at it in that sense, creators, creators meaning if there are any cre creators, any creators, are there any? If there's only one God? Okay. No? So, so God. let me understand now. So let us agree together. There's no other creators, right? Yeah. So when Allah, he says the best of the creators, this is a lie. No, it's not. Because how he say if I am the only student in the classroom and then I say to my mother, hey mother, oh, I got the number one grade, okay. I am the best of the student, but there's no other students. That's me, I'm okay. lying. No, no. Okay, so what what does it say? Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala is the best of the creators. Mm -hmm. So when it says best of the creators, it is addressing at the same time if the if there are any other creators, that's a powerful language of the the Arabic in the Quran. If you're reading uh Allah is the, the best of the creators, mm. then it's addressing if there are any other creators. So, and, and but, but, if the, but, were, do you, but do you see here it says if? Are you, are, you adding, are you adding words to the Quran now? He did not say if, he says Allah, so blessed be Allah, the best of the creators, which means he's confirming there's a creators and he is the best. No, no, this is this is like strong language. It's a strong language. Uh, how when strong it is? Yeah, okay, exactly. It's a, guys, it's a strong language. A strong language it says he is the best of the creators. So if there's only one creator, he is using the wrong language. This is strong language in the wrong location because if he is the only creator, then there is no other creator. So this is a phrase which is fraud. Okay, so let me say let me say something hmm. because you know during history there were people who created like pyramids, huge uh -huh. schemes, hmm. and so these thought they were something of themselves but they were nothing so this when he says of the creators it's addressing it's saying if and and were no, it's addressing the no, possibility of because your creator. quran no my friend you, because your quran your quran but but your quran but definition of those who they can be called the creators is the one at least can create a fly quran but the definition for it so you can play with it so uh, when when uh, uh, when the quran says how you worship somebody, he can't even create a fly, and fly even can steal their food. So it, uh, 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 so those who are your, you worship and they cannot create a fly, they are not creators. The Quran said the definition is not up to you. So who we should follow? We should follow at least a person, he can create a fly, that will make him a creator. So uh, building a pyramid, that is not a creator. This is a build, I'm not creator of a house. That's, that's funny. You know, this is not not really create creator create creation in the form of religion is you give life. Okay, first of all, you know, the Quran it's very special book. Very. The Arabic mm. is very powerful. Do you speak special. Arabic? Do you speak Arabic? No, I don't speak it. So how you know no. it's very powerful if you don't because know? Because I was I was able to speak it. Now I'll tell you something. No, no, no. When you you just say it. You shall just say <laughs> yeah. that the Quran is a powerful Arabic book. But yeah. how you know it's powerful if you do not know how to read Arabic? So I'll tell you. Oh. So when you say uh, he, he was told to read in the name of his Lord, yeah. this 
this was inscribed, this was blessing sent down that he immediately was able to read at once. Uh-huh. This was a blessing sent down to him. Okay. Like a gift. Hmm. Before this, he may not have been able to read at once. He uh, could have been able. To where read. you got? Where you got this from? Where you, got, where you got this from? That he was able to read. So you were making the comment earlier that he wasn't able to read. Yeah, he was not. And you were making fun saying, look, uh, he was not. He, said, he was not, my friend. Well, are you making things up now? So, so our belief is that when well, he was told to read in the name of his Lord, yeah. he was given that blessing. Okay. But this is not what the, 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 your prophet said. Here we go. This is Sahih Bukhari saying that when the angel came to him and he squeezed him three times and keeps, each time he says to him, read, Muhammad, he says, I cannot read. So you're making things up. Oh, he said he can't read because yes. he was he wasn't he wasn't able to he wasn't able to read or yeah. or write. He said that three times and instead he can't read. This Go was ahead. a miracle. And what a miracle if I say to somebody he can't read, read, and still he can't read, this is a miracle. Ah, and then he was in disbelief. He was in he wasn't in belief at that time. Okay, when, can you show me can you show me where Muhammad he, can you show me where Muhammad in the story he learned how to read? Nowhere. It says that the man he keeps squeezing him and Muhammad keeps saying to him, I do not know how to read. So the story, I'm not completely familiar with the story. Uh -huh. However, I know that he was, when he was told to read, and you're saying from the story, it was uh, an angel, J Jibreel, mm. and this angel after, because I know, because I myself, I wasn't able to read Arabic. Uh -huh. Then through this angel, I was, I was able to read Arabic. Okay, go ahead, read. As long as the angel, he no, made the miracle no, for you, read for us. Go ahead. Now, now, now this blessing is done. No, no, now go I ahead, go ahead. You said the angel, he made you read. You said miracle happened yeah, to you. Yeah. And, okay, and, read and, for and, us. And I'll tell you something else. No, no, this tell me. Not, stop, stop with this I'll, one. No, no, I'll you just you, claim, no you just to claim that the, the, the angel came to you and make you know how to learn Arabic, correct? Yeah. Okay, read for us the screen. Go ahead. So I'm just telling, I'm explaining to you. No, this read, read, read. Let her explain to us. Read. Because, no, no, I'm because the angel me... he made you, the angel he made you, there's a miracle happened. We want to see it. The angel he came to you and he made you read Arabic. Read for us, Arabic. Go ahead. So I'm just saying, listen. My friend, I'm was... listening. I'm listening. I'm listening. You see? This... I, I, yeah, I, want, okay. I want you to read. Here we go. I just point at anything in the front of me on the screen. I did not even change the page. Just read for us. As, as long as the no, angel no, he came no. to me, came to you, and he gave, make a miracle for you. One. My friend, are you lying or this is a true miracle? I believe it was a miracle to okay, you. Okay, so not, if, uh, if, the, if the angel, he came to you and he made you read, so why you don't want to read? Here we go, the Arabic in front of you. Because you're not letting me finish my sentence. Uh, okay. This happened previously. Now that blessing is gone. I no longer have that blessing. Expired the blessing. Uh -huh. So he no, made no, because, you learn how to read and then it's gone. Yeah, I, I had this blessing. Uh, and I'll, I'll tell you something else. It's mm. not through the mouths that we read. We read through our hearts. Uh -huh. When when he was told to read in the name of his Lord, this was a blessing that came on his heart. So I believe that the, the angel came and squeezed him three times. Uh -huh. I believe that I've experienced this myself. Mm, you, you experienced. So, you so, be, so are you saying to me that the angel came to you? Are you saying, my friend, are you saying, let me make it clear. Are you saying that the angel came to you and he squeezed you three times? No. So what happened? What, he, but, did, what, what but, he did to you? What he did to you when the angel came I to you? I was able to read powerfully. Yeah. And I believe when I was able to read powerfully, uh -huh. this was through the angel Jibreel alayhi uh, salam. And uh, no, I, I no longer, I no longer have have the angel Jibreel alayhi salam with me. Uh -huh. So I'm no, no longer able to. Yeah, pizza time. Mm -hmm. As I did. Mm. So, so, you know, I don't know why this is not happening to me. By the way, I once I woke up. And uh, I was watching Bruce Lee at night. I woke up in the morning. I want to say, like, make me some coffee, you know. And so I said, Chim -ho -hing -ho -ho. but still I know it. I know how to do it, you know. But you are the opposite. So the miracle did not stay with you. So let us go to something serious. It's a miracle you claim, but you cannot prove, which is funny. So Allah, he said to Muhammad, read. There is any proof that Allah, he taught Muhammad how to read after that? Sorry? Okay. The first, the, 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 when, when Allah, he says to Muhammad, read, it was the first chapter Muhammad received, correct? I think so, yeah. All right. So why the Quran keeps saying that Muhammad is illiterate? So previously, before this, he was illiterate. You see all this Quran, which was written down into the book. Uh -huh. This was, He didn't write this down. Uh -huh. when, when Revelation came to him, for example, this verse that you're showing right now, uh -huh. when this came to him, uh -huh. after, after this came to him, uh -huh. he would write it down he would go back to his people and 
he would go back to his people and they would they would learn it themselves okay my friend so are, are you listening to me i want i want you to focus with me focus with me listen so the yeah. first verses muhammad did receive allah he said to him read correct yeah okay and you said that allah when he said that to him read he was able to read correct yeah okay now we have a chapter seven which came long after still says that muhammad is illiterate So which which chapter is this? Uh, chapter seven, verse number one fifty-eight. Chapter seven. One fifty-eight. So it says, "Say, O Muhammad, O mankind, indeed I am the messenger of Allah to you all. Mm. From Him to whom belongs the dominion of the heavens and the earth." There's no doubt except him. He mm. gives life and causes death. So mm. believe in Allah and his messenger, the unlettered prophet, mm. who believes in Allah and his words and follow him that mm. you may be God. Mm. So he is illiterate or not? It says unlettered in yeah. this version that I have. Yeah. So he is what? He can read or he cannot read? So when it says here, unlettered, it says unlettered. So he was, that was what he was. He was, a, he was. No, it says he is literate still. It yeah, says, he was. A, he was. Do, you, do you see the word he was? Do you see the word he was? In your translation, to be honest, do you see the word he was? I, it, it's getting very blurry, what you, what you, but ah, I can hear what you're saying. It's very, uh, in your translation, your translation, does it say he was literate? No, it says the unlettered prophet. Okay, so he is literate still. Otherwise, it's going to say he was. So here it says he's the unlettered. Mm -hmm. Now, when when people say unlettered, from my understanding, mm -hmm. not not unlettered, but he was known as unstudied or unable to read or write. Uh -huh. After this event of the first revelation, he mm -hmm. was able to read. So, I don't, so I don't maybe believe. Let, us, let, let, let me help you. Maybe what happened, happened to you? Maybe what happened like to you, my friend? What's your name? Your, what's your name, my friend? Hamza, Hamza, Hamza. Hamza. So Hamza, maybe what happened to Muhammad? Is the same what happened to you? The angel came to him, squeezed him. He was able to read, and then he uh, blessed his mouth. What do you think? No, I don't. I don't believe so. So why because the Quran saying? So why the Quran saying he's illiterate? Doesn't say he was illiterate. He was a literate man. This is like. Uh, can you call me back because? It's getting blurry. The the line is getting blurry. Uh, yeah. Okay. We will add some salt. Okay. No problem. I will call you back. Yeah. The line is getting blurry. You know. Yeah. Getting blurry. As of playing a movie. Uh, what blurry for what? We hear you fine. Let us call you back. Yeah. Hello. Okay, somebody, somebody is saying my mic. Is my mic my, 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 my good or not? Oh, oh, let me call you call you because my mic is not good. I don't know why you are My mic is not good. Why this is happening? My mic is not good. Okay, okay, okay. Take it, take it, take it, take it, take it. Take it, take it, take it, take it, take it, take it. The way this goes is not my mic. There's echo, there's echo, uh -huh. Uh -huh. Uh, okay, okay. We got it, we got it, the mic is bad, the mic is bad, bad. <sighs> the mic is bad. Okay, okay, All right, is it better now? Is it better now? Mayday, mayday. Is it better now? Ooh. That's my, my mic became a story. I will make Quran, it's called my, your mic. What's wrong with the echo? You know, Allah, He speaks with echo. Don't you see me in my hijab video? It says, And I'll just call him. Okay, so now it's fine. Okay, I don't know why this is happening. Maybe I need to buy a new mic. 
I just want this one close to you, I think. Alright. Do you hear me now, my friend? Yeah, yeah, it's better now, yeah. Okay. So, uh, uh, so as you see, you know, you know what, forget about everything we said. Can you give me any proof that Muhammad is a prophet? No, I can't give you proof. You cannot? I can't give you a miracle or proof, but neither can we do that for any of the prophets. This is about faith. Uh, do Muhammad have faith? Of course. But the Quran, he says he don't have faith. The Quran says that Muhammad didn't have faith. Yes. I don't think it says that. Okay, let's see. The Quran says that Muhammad, he was, uh, he don't uh, believe he is a prophet. And Allah, he was asking him to go and ask the Christians and the Jews. Chapter 10, verse number 94. So it says they will make excuses to you when you have returned to them. No, no, saying, here, sorry, sorry. I, I hear chapter ninety, verse number ninety-four. Which which chapter? Ninety-four. Chapter ninety-four. Yeah. Yeah, chapter ninety-four. Hmm. So do Muhammad have faith that he is a prophet or not? So chapter 94, why do you say that it means that he didn't have faith? Well, it says, if you have a doubt about what revealed to you, go and ask the Christian and the Jews. What kind of advice is advice for a person? He's a prophet already. Which line? Huh? Which line? It says in the front of you. Can't you read chapter ten, verse number ninety-four? Oh, chapter ten, verse ninety-four. Yes. Sorry. Hmm. Chapter ten, verse ninety-four. Yeah. So if you are in doubt, O Muhammad, peace be upon him, about that which we have revealed to you, mm. ask those who have been reading the scripture before you. Mm. The truth has certainly come to you from your Lord, so never be among the doubters. So mm. yeah, okay, so it says never be among the doubters, in insinuating that he had doubted. Hmm. Why he doubt? Is, but you said to me, he, but you said to me, he have a strong faith now. He he's doubted. You know why a person re receiving revelation? Did, did Muhammad see an angel when he squeezed him first time? So, you know, it says he he had a doubt, and he was human. Um, okay. So we look at so the message. But, okay, but no problem. He was a human. I like that. You know, I'm glad he's a human, not something else. So, but that's not the question. Did Muhammad see an angel when he squeezed him first time? When he come to him and said to him, read. I don't know that account. account. What do you mean? You are the one who told me about it. You said, you know, he came to him and he squeezed him three times and he made him read. Now you do not yeah, know it? I know about the first verse. It says read. Yeah. And you told me that in the Hadith, mm. they said that an angel, Jibreel Islam, came and allowed him to read, mm. squeezed him, uh, enabling him to read. Yeah. Uh, I don't know that account. I know that the Quran, if you go by the Quran, this is the most accurate uh, no, we know the account because your prophet he told the story and, re and registered in Sahih Bukhari. Yeah, so, I don't so, know. Okay, so do you believe that angel came to Muhammad for true or not? Oh, certainly, certainly. Okay, this, so why Muhammad himself he don't believe it? So why Muhammad? Why Muhammad don't believe it? So he had a doubt. He had a doubt. Okay, you are a person who never saw the angel and you don't have a doubt, and then Muhammad is the one who saw the angel. The angel squeezed him three times. And already he's a prophet. He received a 51 chapter already because this is chapter 10 is chapter 51 according to Revelation. So now Muhammad in the middle of his prophethood, he received 51 chapter already out of 114. And now he have a doubt about he is a prophet or not. So I'm going to, I'll tell you something from memory. Hmm. Um, I don't know this specific scenario. 
But I'm just reading. It says he was in a doubt. He had a doubt, and this is re, re, uh, this is helping him with his his doubt, or uh, so because he was human anyway. So he had doubts. Yeah. Uh -huh. um, so after so after Muhammad all this time claiming to be a prophet, and then we find that after more than ten years claiming to be a prophet, we find that he himself have a doubt that he's a prophet. How crazy is that? No, it doesn't say that he had the thought that he was a prophet. It says, no. so if you are in doubt about that which we have No, it says you, that. It says, it says. And he is asking him to go and ask the Christian and the Jews. Those who have been reading the scripture before you. Yeah, the Christian and the Jews. The people of the book. But then following that, if you believe that line, the following line says, the truth has certainly come to you from your Lord. And because so so you're saying that he's he's told to I, I, I don't understand the context of this but I'll, I'll tell you a scenario that I remember hmm. I remember that uh, I think this is from hadiths so I can't say where from but there was a long time where he was upset or feeling that he God was angry with him because hmm. for a long time a revelation did not come to him and so I can say. Yeah, maybe he was in doubt. Uh, mm. I don't know what you mean by... Okay, I have a friend. I have a friend. He got upset from time to time and he tried to kill himself. What do you think? Is he uh, thinking right or he is being crazy? I don't know. It depends on what he's going through. He's going through a lot. His his mother-in-law, she is, you know, she come, come into his house and she eat his falafel. So is he right to kill himself? I don't know. You tell me. What do you think? Is it right? Is it an? Is it a behavior of somebody is, uh, you know, his mentally thinking right, or this is a crazy behavior to kill you, try to kill yourself? I can't say because I don't know what the person's going through. It's difficult. We don't know what everyone's going through. Is I know, I know, but but don't we know that there is something called mental illness? Yeah. Okay. So if somebody trying to kill himself, is he mentally ill? Maybe not. Maybe people are driven crazy by mental illness. But you just said, but you just said driven crazy. So he's mentally ill. You, you are the one who said you're answering me now, saying he's driven crazy. So he's crazy. I know. Listen, I know this because I've been driven crazy by mental illness, and I've wanted to kill myself. So that's mm. my scenario. So I don't know what this man why is you, going. Why are you? Why are you trying to kill that yourself? Crazy. Why are you trying to kill yourself? I've had some mental illness. It doesn't mean that I'm crazy. What? What? Why are you trying to kill yourself? If you'd like to share, oh, I have you know many thoughts coming in my head. Like what? Too many. Just, uh, just, you know what happened with me? Like six months ago, I wake up in the morning, yeah, and every day I'm having many thoughts, thoughts, thoughts coming to me. Uh, so like, like bad thoughts. Mm. And, you know, God didn't help me, mm. but I'm still grateful towards God because mm. my scenario could be far, far worse than this. Mm. I still have. I have my hands, I have my feet, I have my eyes, mm. uh, I'm still in good health, and I, if the worst thing is, I could be in hell. Mm. I could be in a place of fire and torment. Mm. Maybe this mental illness happened to me because I've done something wrong, mm. or it could be a punishment or a lesson. So, mm. so, do you think, so do you think Allah is, it was punishing Muhammad when he was mentally ill? No, maybe he was testing him, maybe he was testing him. It's, so Allah, he tests people by making them crazy? No, uh, I I don't know his scenario. What exactly happened? I don't know. Only God knows Himself. Mm. What exactly happened there? Okay, you know what? I'm going to go with you to zero. I'm going to change this topic. I want you to help me. What is going to make me believe that Muhammad is a prophet? Go ahead. I want you to help me. I I can't I can't I I can't give you that. It's mm. if God wants to guide you, mm. then there's nothing. I can st stop okay, anybody. Let us, from... let us stop with here. Do Allah guide or misguide? He guides. He don't misguide. He allows, he allows to go astray, astray whoever he wills. Okay, but do he guide or misguide? He, he guides. He don't misguide. He he can allow to go astray whoever he wills. No, this is not about allowing. I'm asking you a specific question. Do he misguide? Do he deceive? 
No, he doesn't deceive. Mm. His his promise is true. Okay. The Quran yeah. is true. All right. What everyone is going you, through, you're a prophet. You're a prophet. He tried to guide some people to Islam. Yeah. Right? And then uh, Allah, he says to him, how are you going to guide <laughs> the one who Allah misguide? What do you think exactly. about that? Exactly. exactly. Huh? Okay. Uh, tell us, what do so, you think? Uh, so if, if, because this was his heart, Muhammad, peace be upon him, he wanted to guide many people. I remember I reading somewhere similar to yeah, this. Yeah, but yeah, focus with me. I don't care about Muhammad now. Allah saying to Muhammad, are you going to guide the one who Allah misguide? Exactly, because he was going against his way to guide people. My friend, who what's wrong with you? Right? So it, Muhammad was sent to guide who? To guide the one is misguided, correct? Yeah. Okay. So why he cannot mis he cannot guide the one who is misguided? When Muhammad he came as a prophet, how many Muslims was in Mecca? So, so there were some people who were not Muslims. Some of his family members they were not Muslims. This is not the and, question. This is not the question. How many Muslims was in Mecca? I don't know. What do you mean? If there's anyone beside Muhammad? Yeah, there's many people there. Yeah. Many people they were Muslims. Oh no, no, there was very little people who were Muslims. Slowly, slowly, more people started. Okay, to but uh, the question is very simple. How many Muslims was behind beside beside Muhammad? I don't know the full history, but okay, there was no Muslims. Okay, let us, let us say there was there was five. Okay. But if Muhammad he is not sent to guide the one who is misguided, then what Muhammad sent for? Oh no no you you're misinterpreting. Oh. You're misinterpreting. When it says some people are misguided, I have I have experience with this. I tried to guide people who were misguided, mm. people who completely didn't want the, this oh. message, who were completely against it. Uh -huh. So I went out of my way to try to guide them, and mm. this took me to belief. Mm. So, and later on, I learned from this lesson that I can't guide everyone. Mm. I can't save everyone, even if it's my own family members, because I used to try strongly. Like my friend, your friend, you are not listening. You are just in the, in the limbo. Listen, it says, and the one who Allah deceived, nobody can guide him. So, in in, in the first reason to be deceived, it's Allah who deceived them. No, so, when it says deceive, it does not mean that. It does not it's mean not up to you. It's not up to you. The, ver the verse, the verse is in front of us. Whoever, who's ever Allah, He deceived. None can guide Him. So who is the one who made you deceive? Deceive first, Allah. So where does it say? Where? Which verse? Chapter seven, verse one eighty-six. One eighty-six. Hmm. Whoever Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala sends astray, there is mm. no guide for him. And he yeah. leaves them in their transgression, wandering blindly. Mm. So yeah, of course. Of some course. people, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, he does not allow to guide. So, some no, people no, no, no. You are... see, you, uh, don't, don't, don't for us to hang up on you. Are you going to, to speak like a dog to me? It says, who is ever Allah deceived. Allah is the one who deceived them. They were not deceived. Allah is the one who deceived them. So they were good so, people. They were good so, people. Who is the okay. one who deceived them? Be, 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 you know, be, uh, according to this verse, who is the one who deceived them? So no, no. So your translation it says the word deceive. Do you remember before you told me when you? I don't care for translation. I, I, I read Arabic. I read Arabic. Not like you. However, read your translation. Doesn't matter. So mine says sends astray. Whoever. Okay. So they were not astray. astray. In order, in order to send somebody astray, that's mean he was not astray, correct? Sorry. In order to send somebody astray, yeah, he that's mean he was not astray, perhaps not. Uh, everyone is born Muslim, but we go, we get okay. So let us go to zero, man. The one who Allah sent astray, he was astray when he sent him astray, or he was not astray, okay. So I'll tell you, um, no, uh. So it depends on the person. Some people take care. <laughs> take care, my friend. Oh boy. <laughs> Depending on the person. Who cares what person? The one who Allah sent astray, he was not astray. Otherwise, how Allah he will send him astray? And if Allah is the one who sent people astray, so what the devil do for a living? Eat pizza?
Where are those people coming to me from? I have no time for kids. Who I'm reading your stupid translation in Arabic it doesn't even say that. It says the one who Allah deceived. No one can guide him. Simple. So he was not deceived. Otherwise, if he was deceived, then Allah did not deceive him. And then if this is what happened, that Allah did not deceive him. So how Allah, he says he is the one who deceived him. That means this is a fraud. Stupid statement. So the statement is so clear saying, the one who Allah, he deceived, no one can guide him. No, 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 depending on the person. And Allah, you know, the angel came to me and he made me read and then the blessing is gone. Okay. Cheese kebab. Yeah. How stupid this cult is. And if this is what, what Allah he does for living, what what shaitan doing then? What shaitan he do for living? Actually, according to the Quran, shaitan is deceiving people because of Allah. Read carefully. Uh, <clears throat> this is your Quran. Because you have sent me astray. Who is the one who made shaitan shaitan? <laughs> who is the one who deceived shaitan? Do you see it, Muslims? Allah. Shaitan in Islam is a good guy. Allah, he deceived him. Hello? Yes. Go ahead, my friend. You speak Arabic and your name is Abdul Mumit Abdul Dar. Can you translate your name for us? It doesn't matter. Look. No, it matters. Matter. Matter. Uh, no, it matters. I want you to translate because this is a very this is very disgusting name to, to call it for God. Translate for me Abdul Mumit Abdul Dar. Abdul Mumit means the, the slave of the killer. Okay. And Abdul Dar? The slave of the one who does uh, bad things. Bad things. So you are the slave of the one who do bad things. Yes. And that is Allah. Yes. Okay, go ahead. So you were saying that, uh, like, uh, I don't remember what you said, but basically you said that Allah misguides people, yes? Right. Okay. Hmm. So, <clears throat> so, for you, Muhammad, he misguides people, right? Allah, he must be misguide people. Muhammad is just a, a fool. He's just a messenger of God, yes? No, he's not a messenger of God. He's a messenger of Shaitan. You are just told me. You are just told the one told me that Allah is the one who killed the killer. You are the slave of the killer and slave of the one who do bad. That is Shaitan. Yeah, but who created Shaitan? No, but it's it, it, you are the slave of the one who do bad. And this is one of the names yeah. of your God, right? Allah is uh, Allah is uh, uh, the one who do bad. I, I appreciate your honesty in translation. And now who is the one who deceive people, Allah or Shaitan? Uh, both. Well, the Shaitan says that Allah deceived Shaitan and Shaitan is just deceived, correct? Yes. Okay. So if a shaitan is deceived by Allah and I am deceived by shaitan and I am deceived by Allah and you are the one who said both, that means the real deception, the deceiver, the big deceiver is Allah. But for you, this is all um, Muhammad who said that. He's faking this, right? Who is faking this? It's Muhammad who created friend, the Quran for you. you I want you to tell me what Islam teaching you, regardless now if Muhammad is faking it or not. So do you agree that shaitan is a victim of Allah? Allah deceived him. And Allah yeah, I agree. One. Okay, so if shaitan was deceived by Allah, why shaitan is bad then? Because he also deceives people. Yeah, but he is deceived himself by the deceiver Allah. So he is a victim of the big deceiver. So I am deceived. And then because I'm deceived, I will, as a result of my being deceived, I will deceive people whatever I say. So here you see that Allah is the biggest deceiver. He is shaitan. 
Yeah, yeah. That, that's my belief. Now let's go to your belief. So you, be, you believe that Allah is shaitan? I believe that Allah misguides people, yes. No, no, you believe Allah is shaitan? No, he's not shaitan. He created shaitan. No, this is what I, I said to you. Okay, let us go back to zero. So, shaitan was deceived by Allah and you agreed. That yes. means shaitan was a good guy, correct? He used to be a good guy, yes. Okay, who made him a bad guy? God. Who is God? What is his name? Allah. Okay, why Allah he made him a bad guy? Because he wants to. Why is that? He wants to. God does whatever he wants. He's almighty. Okay, so so the, the, the your God is not good then? Um, yeah, you could say that in our from our perspective, you could say that that is, uh, that doesn't look uh, correct. Well, I don't know what do you mean. So, are you saying that your God Allah is evil? He looks evil to us, but we might not comprehend exactly why he does certain things. So, do you comprehend Shaitan is evil, or you don't comprehend Shaitan is evil? I comprehend. Do you comprehend that Jesus created? No, I'm asking Satan? you. Well, hold on. So, oh, how it's come, my, my, how, my turn to ask. How it's come, my turn to ask. How, how come you comprehend Shaitan is evil, but you cannot comprehend Allah? Being because evil. my brain is uh, is is limited. You we have limit, limited brain capacity. Okay, but you just you are the one with your limited brain capacity. You are the one who agree that Allah is evil. Yeah, I said. I agree with you. He looks from our perspective that he is evil. Okay. So you as a Muslim, from your perspective, you see Allah is evil. So what is the difference between Allah and Shaitan? They're different beings. Allah can do good sometimes, but uh, Satan, he does only bad things. Okay. Did, did you just say that Shaitan, he do only bad things? Yes. Okay, so how come the, the, the your prophet he said that Shaitan he ordered him to do good things? No, that's a parin. It's not Shaitan. This is not, this is who? Al Qarin. But this is Shaitan. Yeah, I, I was talking about iblis, not uh, like uh, the My species friend, of uh, what Shaitan. species? What species? Isn't it Shaitan? Isn't it the devil? Here we go. This is your prophet says the devil in the hadith. No, no. Shaitan. Each each person Shaitan in Islam the belief Shaitan. is. You speak Arabic, I speak Arabic. فَإِنَّ الشَّيْطَانَ يَجْرِي فِي أَحَدِكُمْ مَجْرَ الدَّمْ Translate. And then he says, do you have a Qareen? He says, you and even me. Right? So the one yes, who is the Qareen. So the one is the Qareen is the Shaytan, correct? It's not Iblis. It's a, it's a Shaytan, not the Shaytan. Okay, not Iblis. Who is Iblis then? Iblis is like his, their master. He's the master Satan. Is he the master or the father? He's both, actually. So, is he the father of the of all Satan's? Yeah. Okay. How he have kids? Uh, they say that he lays eggs. He has like a penis in his right thigh. Okay. And a vagina in his left, and he. Uh... All right. So, uh, Allah He created one Shaitan, and when He created him, He created him with penis in the right thigh and a vagina in the left thigh. If there is any proof of that? No. So why you Muslim believe in such a thing? Uh, it's the best they could do. They, I don't know if they heard it from the Prophet. I don't know. I don't. I don't even remember if it's a weak or strong hadith. This one. Okay. So if not as true, not as strong, then how Shaitan he got his kids? Well, we have. I told you it's one hypothesis that he uh, lays eggs. Yeah, but uh, okay. So this is an explanation. The Muslim trying to explain the stupid Quran. Because how in the world Shaitan? How many how many Shaitan Allah kicked out from heaven? One, he kicked, he kicked Iblis. Iblis, only one. Okay. So now the Muslims they ask how this has happened. You know, they ask as an example Ibn Abbas. He says, "Had Arsun, lam ashhadhu." This is a wedding party. I did not I did not witness because Shaitan did not get married, and his only one is get out. So the Muslim, in order to cover the stupidity in the Quran or the story. They say the shaitan, uh, Allah created for him a penis in the right leg and a vagina in the left leg. So, you're, you're, according to you, shaitan is a male or female? Iblis, uh, the, uh, in the Quran, it's always a masculine. He's a guy. He's a guy. So, how he's a guy, he have a vagina? <laughs> he 
<laughs> what do you mean? Dude, you're, you're trying to like you're trying to project the human being onto other beings. You cannot do my that. Friend, my friend, I'm not saying anything. I'm just asking you a question about your belief. So how he is a, a, a male gender, as you said, the shaitan always called as a male. So how is a male gender? And then we find that you just saw to me that Allah, he gave him a penis in the right thigh and a vagina in the left thigh. Oh, well, maybe he's a transgender. He is what? A transgender. Transgender, that's a good one. So, uh, uh, shaitan, he do when he have a, a penis in the right thigh and a vagina in the right thigh. What he do? He lays eggs. No, how before he do that? What the penis for? It's to inseminate the vagina. Okay, is it true that the, the Arabic in, in the Arabic the story says yanka hu hada Yes. Okay. So it's yanka, a strong uh, okay. Life. So yanka yanka hu hada bidak. What yanka mean? To f right? Physically. Yeah, sexual intercourse. Yes. Okay. So the word nikah means sexual intercourse, right? Yes. Correct. So shaitan he do nikah by his penis in the right thigh to his vagina in the left thigh. And then he lay eggs. Why eggs? <laughs> You're asking very stupid questions, man. Why? why okay, let, let, us say, let us say I'm stupid and you are smart. So why shaitan he lay eggs? Why he don't give birth? I don't know. That's what God wants. He wanted. Okay. He wanted it like but, that. But let me let me make it simple for you. Isn't it your prophet? He says before you have intercourse, you have to make certain prayer. Otherwise, you will have shaitan will share with you your kids. You are jumping all over the place. Let me no, ask no, you one we question. In the, we are in the same place. When you're a prophet, he says you have to say a certain prayer before you do intercourse. Otherwise, shaitan will share with you your kids. And shaitan, which, which means your son will be the son of shaitan. Correct? I don't know this. You don't know the hadith about Allahumma jannibna shaitana wa jannibna shaitana ma radaqna? We do prayers before so many things, not before intercourse. No, no, the intercourse. There, is a, there is a specific hadith before the intercourse. You have to say it. Otherwise, shaitan will rod himself around your penis and he will be the one doing your wife. All right, can you read that in Arabic, please? Okay. Let us see. You will put it for you. Why won't you let me ask you? You, you, you keep asking me and I, I never have the right to ask you back. My, my friend, you want to ask me about what? We're supposed to be other one, the wrong ones. So you well, are you're you're sure from that. Okay, Jannib al-Shaytana. Hmm. All right. Here we go. This is the Hadith. Let us see. Uh... <clears throat> No, we can we can find more details hadith but those are very dirty so we will show the one is easy to read all right okay this is this is this is the hadith it says what's the sonnet uh well this is sahih i'm going to show you al-bukhari so you don't question it too much you know this is al-bukhari hadith number 141 if any one of you will have a sexual intercourse he have to say a certain prayer shaitan will sleep with your wife and different how he says he will round himself around the man private part and he will be doing the wife Huh? Just a protection. Yeah, he will be like a condom. Because we say prayers before we leave, we say prayers before entering the bathroom, we say prayers before uh, mm. uh, buying clothes, before uh, anything. Okay, so Shaitan, he have to say, you have to say a prayer that Shaitan, he is going to have sex with your wife. So how Shaitan, he lay eggs, but then your wife, she will have baby if he slept with her. Why she is not laying eggs? 
Okay, you are asking very stupid questions. Well, with so all my friend, respect. So, so, so you are saying to me, it's not stupid to believe that shaitan have a penis in the right leg and a vagina in the left leg, and I am the stupid because I'm asking the question. No, this one is known. It's a known hadith that he has a penis on his right thigh. But you're, you're, the, you're like... You are the one who mentioned it to me, right? Yes. Okay. So, why you need, why you need to, to pray? Why we need to pray before shaitan, you know, before his intercourse? Otherwise, shaitan, he will share with us our offspring. What will, what will happen exactly? I don't know. It's uh, figurative stuff. I don't know. It's... But can it you help me? Just, to okay, can you help me? I'm trying to understand if you don't mind. What will happen, you think? Well, don't you like in Christianity believe in Satan and he can do bad things to you? Okay, my friend, I'm asking you, what will happen if you forget to have uh, 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 this prayer and you have intercourse with your wife? With my respect to your wife, we are not trying to insult. What will happen exactly? What do you think will happen? I don't know. It says here that Shaitan will take, will take control of him. Not only he will yeah. be the child of shaitan, shaitan will take control of him, which means that the child will be bad. Yeah, okay, so? Okay, guys, he agree that shaitan will be bad, but your prophet, his father, did not pray this prayer. That means Muhammad is bad, he's son of shaitan. Dude, it's only a protection. It's, my friend, it's, it's protection. My... Okay, I go with you, protection, and I ask you, if he did not, if you do not do this prayer, he will be bad, you agreed. So your prophet father, he did not say this prayer. He never heard of it. He's a kafir anyway. So that's mean. No, it's, not, it's not he will be bad. He might be bad. No, he will be bad. He will be bad. The Quran confirm it. So you're a prophet. He never mentioned this prayer until now. So his father, his father was a kafir. He will go to hell. That's mean when Muhammad father, he slept with his mother. mother he did not say that prayer. That means Muhammad is not protected and he will be evil as you said. Can you read the whole sentence in Arabic, please? Our friend, you know Arabic, right? Read it in front of you. You know, read it in front of you. Oh, yeah, I need to open my phone. Okay, I'm going to read it in front of you. It's not a. It's going to show. Maybe it take a little bit of time. So low and low. It's it's like a supposition. It's not a certain low. It's like a, a conditional tense. Yeah. So conditional. If you don't do it, what will happen? Yeah. It might happen. It's not. It will happen. No. It will it's happen. Good. No, it, it says, if you say that, then that will not happen to you. If you say the prayer, لو أن أحدكم, read Arabic, you know Arabic? لو أن أحدكم إذ أتى أهله, قال بسم الله. So the confirmation is, if you say that prayer, then his son will not be hurt by shaitan. That's wonderful. But if you don't say it, that's mean he will share with you the offspring. And this is confirming the Quran. The Quran says that Shaitan, uh, he is going to have offspring from who? Read the interpretation. What's the verse? Chapter 18, verse number 15. <laughs> Hmm. Uh, what, what does this have to do with anything? Uh, then no, you tell me. It says here, you know, the, the uh, are you going to worship him and his children? What children we are talking about here? Of spring of Shaitan, which one? Are they the children from the women, the Muslim women? Or they are children from his penis and his eggs. No, I don't get. There is no context here. Hmm. Yeah, I want to show you here. This is Ibn Abbas, and you speak Arabic. Mm -hmm. And this is an Islamic statement, and I can show you all the reference you want. It says here, 
قَالَ اِنَّ اِمْرَأَةِ اِسْتَيْقَذَتْ This is Ibn Abbas. وَفِي فَرْجِهَا شُعْلَةُ نَارِ قَالْ ذَلِكَ مِنْ وَطْئِ الْجِنْ Translate. So the jinn uh, have sex with the uh, women? No, no, just translate what you what you saw, my friend. Go ahead. Somebody saw a woman who has fire in her vagina. Okay. And then what Ibn Abbas said? It's a jinn. It's a jinn doing boom, boom, right? Yeah. Okay. Do you believe in that? What is it first? Where did you come, well, come up with this? Let me give you all the reference you want. No problem. Give me a second. Here we go. So can I ask you, yes? Tafsir al-Baghawi. This is in front of us. Tafsir al-Baghawi. Page number 288. According to the website here. Explain how shaitan he have children. Alright. This is the same verse we are talking about. Chapter 18, verse number 50. Actually, here they are trans uh, giving the, uh, the interpretation for verse number 64. The so chapter of 17, said, yeah. but the same one. Chapter 17, verse number 64. It says here that the woman, this guy he saw in the vagina of his wife, he came to enter her room and he saw a fire in her bushes, in her pubic area. And then Ibn Abbas, he says, well, this is because genie was effing her, correct? Yes. All right. So, uh, uh, so Muhammad then, he did not. His father did not say this prayer. That's mean he is a shaitan. He's a son of shaitan. And the shaitan, he have a fire in the bushes of Muhammad mother. Okay. Can I ask you now? Who oh, was? Oh, you want to change topic now? Yes. Oh, okay. Go ahead. When you want to ask me. Why did Jesus create Muhammad? Why Jesus created Muhammad? Jesus created Adam and Eve, and then he gave Adam and Eve the ability to, you know, uh, to reproduce. That's all. He did not create uh, a specific person. He created only one male, one female. Do you have different story in the Quran? Oh, in the, in the Islam, we believe he created everything. Okay. No, the Quran, no. If you go in the Quran, you see, it says here, وَجَعَلْنَاهُ نَسَبًا وَصَيْرًا نَسَبًا وَصَيْرًا do you know what does that mean? Who? Who? Allah is speaking, saying, chapter 25, verse number 54. Do you know what does that mean? Who? A human being. So, what does it mean? You tell me, I don't know, you are the Muslim. I thought you are the Muslim, not me. We made human beings, Nasab al Okay, what does that mean? So it means he, uh, we are his children. Children of who? Of God. You are children of God? You must not believe in that? That's what the verse says, no? I don't know where you get this from. I don't know. It says it is he who created man from water and he has, mm -hmm. he has appointed for him kindred from by blood and kindred by marriage. And, and now you are telling me this is mean that Allah is your father? No, maybe I understand the verse wrong. Okay. If we go and read the interpretation, we will find that according to this verse, Allah, He is a creation, all of them, is He created them from the water, which is Adam, right? But the water here presents sperm. Was Adam created from sperm? No. So the verse is wrong then. Oh, well, uh, why did you say that it's a sperm? Okay. When the Quran says that Allah created Adam from water, if we search the word ma, we will find that the word ma always in the Quran come as a mean, as a sperm. As an example, ma in dafiq. Ma in dafiq. Yeah. So we created the man from gushing forth fluid. What kind of a fluid it is? It is gushing fluid. What is that? It is the sperm. Do you agree? In this verse, yes. But in others, no. Uh, so it, the, it's possible that the verse uh, have different meaning. Okay, was Adam created from water or from mud? From water. How? From mud. Where, where? How you can support that? Show me. 
Okay, وجعلنا من الماء كل شيء حي. And we made it from the water every living thing. Is the angels made from water? Yes. Angels are they made from be. water. They must be. I thought they are made from light. I thought they are made from light. Light and water. Yeah. Now we are mixing things together. Your prophet he says they are made of light. Shaitan made of fire. Correct. Yes. Okay, so Allah is wrong. Not every living thing according to Islam is from water because shaitan, it's at least, he is not made of water. He's from fire and fire is not water. Now we go back to zero. When you say to me that Allah, he made everything from, from water and the Quran says Allah created Adam from water, but then we will find that Adam wasn't created from water. Uh, Adam was created from uh, dust. From dust? From mud, you mean? Well, isn't it uh, so? But so it's not water. You say what? Water. If we if we say water, that means it was water alone. If we say water and and dust we mixed together, that will not be water alone. No. Are you created from water to. alone? Are you are you just water? No. There's okay. more. So this is wrong. So when Allah He says we created everything from water, that's false. Specifically, especially when we talk about Adam and Eve. Because Adam was not created from water, so the Quran cannot be from God. No, oh, because mud has water in it. No it problem. So if, if, if we have water in it, doesn't mean that this is created from water. That's wrong. That's false information. If I if I buy a product and then they say to me, uh, it says in the in the in the box, it says contain water. So if I open it, I should not find anything except the water. Do you agree? I don't agree. You don't agree. So if I lie, he says it's made from water. Then we open it, we find it's many things, not only water. That means this is false information. No, it's not. It's incomplete information. Incomplete. I like that. Guys, did he say incomplete? Did Allah complete? Yes. Did he give us incomplete or he completed the information? When it comes to creating from water, he gave us incomplete information. Oh, so when it's come to only the water, he gave us incomplete. Can you give me one thing Allah he gave it was complete? Mm. Um, I don't know, off the top of my head. Okay. Did, yep. Allah, did Allah, he says he completed your religion for you? Yeah. All right. Which day is that? What do you mean, which day? Well, which day? Because it says today, I completed your religion for you. Uh, Friday. Friday. That's wonderful, guys. Allah, He completed Islam Friday. That's wonderful. So why, why Allah, He, you know, when you, when you Muslim, you say He completed Friday. That's mean He finished working and He take He takes Sabbath as holiday, right? No. So he was working until Friday, according to you. No, he's always working. He's always working. Yeah. Oh, okay. Yeah. So when he said he completed my religion for you, what he is doing after that? After he completed? He's uh, managing the the whole universe, man. Okay, that's a good thing. He is managing. So now Allah, he says, I completed, but this is in the beginning of the Quran. No, because the order of the surat is not. Um, so is not is, oh, so you are saying this is Quran is that we have today is screwed up. This is, should be at the end of the Quran, correct? Yeah, it's shuffled. Okay, so this verse should be at the end of the Quran. Who is the one who changed it and he put it here? This is wrong. You don't say the end of the movie when the movie end, is just in the beginning. I think it's Abu Musab Du'ali or something like that. Who? Abu Musab Du'ali. Abu Musa Abu Duali. Okay, not Al Farahidi. Oh, okay, so Al Duali is the one who changed location of the verses. Is he a God? No. Who allow him to do it? Why you? So you must time you say that we we don't allow anyone to change the Quran, and now you are saying to me a guy he is not even an Arab. He changed the Quran. Hey, just try to unify, just like it was mandated. He tried he to do. He, he, other, he, he tried to do what? The stuff that the Uthman did. Okay, yeah. he, he tried to do what exactly? Uthman he did. He, what Uthman he did, and what this guy tried to do? Try to unify the Mus'haf. Unify? Yeah. What do you mean by unify? 
because uh, people have many mushafs, like every person have their own. Exactly. So there was many Quran, and none of them is the same as the other. So the Muslim, they lie to us when they say we have one Quran preserved. Yeah, of course, it's not, it's not preserved. Okay, so it's not preserved, it's a lie. Now, so what we have here, a guy, he came and he put this chapter, this verse, in this location, and that it damaged the whole Quran because this should be at the last verse in the Quran. Today, I completed your religion for you. I completed my favor upon you. That's it. Perfect. Now it's perfect. So what we understand from this, that there's no guarantee in the whole religion you have. Who, who came first? Who came next? Who is the one putting this here? Maybe they are even adding those verses. Do you have any guarantee that this is not added? No, actually, we don't, because even the, um, the people like Hafs and Warsh who uh, narrated the Quran are, have very, are not very trusted in Hadith. They are not trusted in the Hadith. Okay, so Hafs is the one who gave you the Quran. Actually, he's a thief, correct? The Hadith says that Hafs can yasruq al kutub. Yeah. He, he used to steal books. Okay, so he's a thief, and his father is the same. Hafs ibn Asim, his father by by you know stepfather. So and Asim was a thief too. So now you get the Quran from a thief, from a thief, from a thief. So how you can trust this book in front of you to tell me that you are a Muslim? Yeah, actually, I'm not a Muslim. I was just uh, sorry. Say again. I'm not Muslim. You are not a Muslim. No. Say uh, okay. Say that. Say that Muhammad is a fraud. Muhammad is a stupid Abdul. Okay. And, uh, so why you right so why you are call, why you are calling me all this time and, and and playing you are a Muslim? Are you a, are you a fraud too? Uh yeah, you can say I'm a fraud. Uh, I think I think you are a Muslim, but because it's embarrassment for you, so you decide to say to fix all what you said. You say I'm not a Muslim. Is that what happened? No, no. I, I I'm telling you, I'm not a Muslim, and uh, Muhammad is a stupid Abdul, and I invite okay. all the Abduls to uh -huh. stop defending this stupid religion. Uh, okay, all right. What an idiot! I believe that you are trying to fix it because people they are laughing at you. Can I ask you about Jesus now? Very embarrassing. So now what we will do, we will say that I'm not a Muslim because now this will be all over the internet. Do we have any Abdul? Anyone? If you are a fake Muslim, you don't defend Islam, obviously, but because you found yourself, you, you know, you see what people are saying in the chat, what you said is horrible. So now you try to fix it. It's like Muhammad, when he was claiming to be a Muslim, when he saw people, they are laughing at him, he says he start worshipping Allah and Al-Uzza. Suddenly he's not a Muslim. Uh, truth prevail he is saying you cannot defend your pagan belief my friend it's not us who kiss black stones and go around it and lick it it's you I find it very funny why you don't call me truth let us see who is the pagan who accept the challenge let us see who is truly a pagan who is the one going around a building Kissing his stones, and he believed that the stone erased his sin. Who is the pagan? We don't have such a garbage. It's you who's pagan, and the Quran confirm it. Who is the stone kisser? It's you. People, I will remind you tomorrow. We will have our first Bible study in my other account. We have it in the pinned message and the admin, they will post the link for you if you like to join us. Uh, so if you care, feel free to join us. And as a first uh, uh, study for the Bible tomorrow we will do is about the Christmas. Do we have any brave Muslim? Do we have any brave, smart Muslim? 
brave and smart Muslim. Look how 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 bad the situation is. Uh, okay, somebody. All right, we uh, okay. Yeah, this is my book. Printed in many languages. In, uh, in what language is that? Hold on. You know the angel he squeezed me, and I forgot the language now. What language is that, guys? You see, we are giving our books for free, right? So here, the, uh, we receive a message that my book is printed and given for uh, five hundred copies for free for people. Maybe this is Quran and science. I think. Yeah, nice copy. Actually, it's a, even even the graphic is better than my graphic. Unbelievable. <laughs> You know, I'm so happy that my books is going around the world. And this is the blessing of not to be greedy and going after money. Because if we insist that we will not give it for free, then it's not going to be the same. Now we have tens of millions, if not hundreds of millions, reading those books for free. So I'm really, I'm really grateful for the Lord that he did not make me a greedy person who goes after money. I hope soon our Chinese books will be printed too, given to Chinese as hand, not only as a file. Uh, so let the whole world see how stupid this religion is. The pagan who accuse us to be pagan, it is Islam. There's no pagan in the world as Islam. Islam is religion. They put their head inside a stone which is always worshipped as a vagina. And they claim that we are pagan, not them. Actually, we saw Zakir Naik saying literally that Islam and Hinduism is the same. Islam and Hinduism is the same. Even he called the Hindu scriptures to show you that it is exactly the same. Not only he said the same, he said exactly the same. Can you believe it? Not, he, not only he said it is the same, he said it's exactly word by word. Let, let, let us play the video for you so you can see. We are not making things up. It's exactly the same. If we ask any Muhammadan, is the Hindus are pagan? He will say yes. This is your Zakir Naik. The concept of God. Um, the best reply that any Muslim can give you regarding the concept of God in Islam is quote to you Surah Ikhlas, chapter number 112, verse number 1 to 4, which says, Qul Allahu ahad. Say, He is Allah one and only. So this is the concept of God, guys. How can you believe it? this is concept that He is the only one? And by the way, this is false. Arabic it says, Qul huwa Allahu ahad. Ahad does not mean He's one, it means He's one off. And Ahad was one of the names of the idols. Say, He's Ahad, is this idol. Continue. Allah, Hussamad. Allah, the absolute and eternal. This is false. As Samad is coming from the word Masmuda, which means the, the collective, the collector, or the, the collection. So when you have a little, uh, the, the, what they call it, the piggy uh, thing, you make a hole in the clay to collect your uh, coins. This is what As Samad is, As Masmuda. So the Muslim, they don't know this is an Aramaic word. So they give it an, give it an explanation by themselves. Allah did not give birth, and he was not born. That because he's an idol. He begets not, nor is begotten. Hmm. There's nothing like him. Nothing like any idol in the world because it's a, you know, it's a piece of art and nothing like it. You know, I mean, even if I try to make a copy, unless you're Chinese, you can make it then. This is a four-line definition of hmm. Almighty God okay. given in the glorious Quran. Any person says so-and-so candidate is God, if that candidate fits in this four-line definition. If any candidate fit in that definition. Did you hear it? So if you have a God, if you have a religion, not Islam, and you have a candidate to be God, he fit with the description, he's God. 
Did you hear it? Any candidate, <laughs> candidate, you know, he fit with this description. He's God. It fits in this four line definition. We Muslims have got no objection in accepting Did you hear that it? candidate as God. And this is exactly what is also mentioned in the Hindu scriptures. The same four points. Did you hear it? So your God and the God of the Hindus is the same one. Muslim, did you hear it? Your God and the God of the Hindus is the same exact one. You both worship one God. It's not me who said that. This is Zachary Naik in front of your eyes. And the video name is the concept of God. Here we go. It's in the front of your eyes. This guy, he have 2.97 million. There's 2.9 million abdul nobody there to open his mouth and say this is wrong because simply it's not wrong you muslims are a bunch of pagans anyone have the same concept he have a candidate candidate he is fit to be god this is what he said listen carefully as god and this is action and except it fits in this four-line definition it fits in this four line say so and so candidate is God if that candidate fits in this four line definition we Muslims have got no objection in accepting that candidate as God and this is exactly what is also mentioned in the Hindu scriptures say so and <laughs> did you hear it so stop lying to us saying that you are not like the Hindus stop lying to us saying that you have a true god and the hindus are false because here we go your biggest shish kebab he just admitted that allah is the same as the hindu god a muhammadan saying jesus was a muslim why he was a child molester like your prophet if jesus was a muslim he should be he should be a caravan rider child molester cheating his wives and take his own son wife. Well, Jesus is totally the opposite of that. Jesus was a Muslim. <laughs> Any Muhammadan have a comment? And actually, if we go in the roots, we will find that Allah, He will resurrect people from death by using the power of the beef, the power of the cow. We need to change the to Arabic. Hold on. My keyboard keeps switching. How Allah he resurrect people from death? By beef. This is why the biggest chapter in the Quran is the cow chapter. Al-Baqarah. Why it's called Al-Baqarah? Because this is how Allah he resurrect people from death by beating them using the power of the cow if the muslim they will say no this is the power of allah so if allah have a power why he need to use beef many muhammadan and not only that it says and this is how allah he bring life thus allah brings the dead to life, how? By beating them by beef. What is the connection between resurrecting people from death and beef? Any Abdul? Can your God resurrect people without using the beef of the Hindus? The cow, the Hindus. What is the connection? A Muslim Abdul, he is posting for us chapter 4, verse 171. But my friend, the same verses you are posting for us are proving that Allah is an idiot. Actually, I challenge you to call me. I'll read the verse for me, and then people will laugh at you, and it's your verse. Because the same verse says, say no trinity, is the same verse confirming the trinity, but in Islamic way. Shall we read the same verse you are posting for us? Why you did not copy the rest of it? 
Ah, you do not copy it because the race is embarrassing. So let us go to chapter 4, verse 171, and then people will die laughing. Here we go. Chapter 4. The women chapter. Women eyes are prophet. Okay, here we go. We go to the verse you are asking us for. Did you ask for it? You asked for it. So get what you asked for. Get ready. She's kebab time. Okay. Look how stupid this religion is. Literally, the most stupid religion is. The same verses confirming that there's no trinity is the same verses confirming that there's a three and one, and that is Jesus. Read carefully the stupid Muhammad. All people of the book commit no excuse in your religion, nor say it all of Allah, aught but the truth. Christ Jesus, son of Mary, was, between two brackets, no more, this is false, that's not the Quran, a messenger of Allah. So let us take a line, take a note. So Jesus was a messenger. Okay, wonderful. Which means he was a man. Great. Christians agree. Jesus, he have a flesh of a man. Wonderful. So is Jesus, the man messenger. Okay. He is his word. He is the word of God. This is exactly what John chapter 1, verse number 1 says. And verse number 14 says that he became a flesh. So now Muhammad is copying John chapter 1, verse number 1 and verse number 14. And then he continues saying, and he bestowed him Mary, which means he sent down. So Jesus is coming from above. And Jesus, what, what said? He said, I am from above, you are from below. He's God. And then it continue. And the spirit proceeding from him. From who? From God. So Jesus is a tree. Is the flesh. Is the word. Is the spirit of God. And the stupid Muhammad says, don't say three, they are one. Have you ever heard of a stupidity? And not only that, he is not only spirit, he is spirit proceeding I in G, which means the spirit which is in Christ is always proceeding from God. Do you see it? It's not a created. It's proceeding. This is your Quran. The same stupid book says, don't say Trinity. Just confirm another form of trinity. By the way, we don't believe in such a trinity. But this is what your Quran is saying. It can be Jesus himself is a three and one in the same time. He is the word. He is the flesh. He is the man. He is the spirit. The problem is your God is a fool and your prophet is more foolish. So when you Muslim, you copy paste. We laugh at what you copy paste. And that's why none of you dare to call me. I stay here for six hours, seven hours, eight hours, and then where is those who who call who claim that they can bust me? Who are they? Where are they? Again, a reminder: subscribe to our other channel if you like to join us tomorrow. Tomorrow is the last day before Christmas. Actually, it's going to be almost Christmas for those who live in Asia. So if you like to join us, we have the link in the in the in the first message you see when you enter the chat. Join us there, please, if you care for a topic. And remember that cha that channel is there is not really for a debate, it is to study the Bible. So we will keep the language so clean. We cannot mention anything about Islam because Islam is very dirty. We cannot mention the name of the Lord next to the name of the Fethi and the faith of Muhammad. All right. So I want to say thank you all for being here. May the Lord bless you. And I will see you tomorrow in my other channel. If you care to join us. Until then, I say Merry Christmas. And may the Lord bless your life. We pray for the Muslims. We don't hate them. And we will never hate anyone. Just because he's a fool. We are here to save them from the foolishness of Muhammad, from the deception of the devil Muhammad. So love the Muslims, don't hate them, but fight Satan, a real fight. Never compromise. The one who compromise with the devil, he is no Christian. The one who compromise his faith is no Christian. Muhammad is not Abrahamic. Even the Mohammedan, they say that, and we got them busted, and you know it. Thank you very much for being here. May the Lord bless you, and see you tomorrow in my other channel, Arab for Christ, studying the Bible together. Take care. Merry Christmas.
I mean, again, he, he doesn't know who Gabriel is, right? Because he didn't come from an Abrahamic faith. The people of Mecca were pagan. The Quran has mentioned if this book was from other than God, they would have found in it many contradictions. If a book is without contradictions, that has no bearing on whether it comes from God or not. I've had phone books that are inerrant, but I certainly don't think God gave them. <laughs> that we believe without understanding. The brothers asked a very important question that most of the scholars say that listening to music, watching movies, and most of the television programs, they're haram. So how can we have fun? Let me tell you, brother, at the outset, that having fun is permitted in Islam as long as the fun is halal fun. <laughs> that the standard narrative has holes. The prophet tells us because Satan or the devil sleeps over our nostrils. Those who oversleep and not pray Fajr on time, Satan urinates in their ears. I really do think Jesus was crucified and that he really was dead and buried. He, he thought that he was a son of God in the sense that he was specially chosen by God. I think Jesus really did think he was going to be the Messiah, the future king of Israel. I mean, that is, after all, why they crucified him. 